Hey yo! What's going on, everybody? It's Tyler Reyes, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. So today is Tuesday, and we have some new drip fed content in the form of a beautiful new sports class vehicle, the Benefactor Schlagen GT. All right. Very nicely uh, put together and created vehicle. Uh, I've already done a, uh, a quick little top speed video on that. Make sure you guys check out my video on that. It's only like a couple of minutes long, no big deal. Uh, we compare it versus the Pariah, the fastest car in the game in a straight line. And uh, yeah, man, this video is really all about the customization. So if you're on the fence about buying this vehicle, uh, if you don't, if you're not sure, I want to kind of take you through all this real quick and kind of show you what it looks like. And it really does have some nice customization and customizable options as you see right here the front bumpers we have 10 different front bumpers now a lot of them are the same style but you have a carbon feature you have a secondary paint feature you have a primary paint feature still though it gives you a lot of options you know the the variables the different kind of you know matchings that you can make with this are you know extensive they're, they're pretty cool i like it a lot so you got some really nice front bumper options there let's check out the rear bumper uh, you have seven different options with the rear bumper, which is pretty cool. You have the carbon vents, you have the primary, secondary, the carbon diffuser, and then you have the primary diffuser and secondary diffuser. So you can put some really cool combinations together with this. I like it a lot. This is a beautiful car. It sounds great. It really does. Uh, like I said, later on today, you know, I'm, I'm having to finesse right here and uh, get these videos put out uh, during my lunch break and things like that. So uh, just be patient with me, guys. I have a full-time job I have to attend to as well. Yeah, though, nice sounding car, very well put together. As you see here with the chassis options, you have uh, five different chassis that you can add to. You have the racing seats. I go into a first-person view so you get kind of a better idea of the dials. You have an option to change up the dials on the vehicle, which is really, really cool. I like that touch. Uh, the primary cage and then the secondary cage. I always like to make my roll cage secondary because you can see it through the windshield or the back window and it just looks really, really cool. It's a nice accent, but you know, whatever you want to do with it, you know, that's totally your choice. It's your option. Going down to the engine, the different EMS upgrades definitely add to the acceleration and performance of the vehicle. Really cool exhaust options as well. You have five different styles of exhaust stock, the triple rear, the race side exhaust, and then the alternative or alternate race side exhaust as well. And then you have the competition uh, side exhaust. So really cool with that. I do like that. Looks really, really good. You know, subtle, minimal, but still it adds really cool features to it. I appreciate that. Here's another look, another rundown going through it. So yeah, I really do appreciate that. This car is just, it is so sexy. It's a beautiful car. Uh, different grills right here. We have six different grills to choose between the stock, the alternate, the double alternate grill, the classic grill with the carbon icon, the classic grill with the primary paint icon, uh, so and secondary. With the hoods, you have 11 different hoods to choose between. And once again, some of these are going to be duplicated with just, you know, a secondary or a carbon option. But still, the different combinations make it such a nice treat to have those different styles right there. Uh, I think the street vents honestly look the best with just the painted hood. And I'll show you here at the end of the video what my final product looks like. I'm going to kind of speed through my customization and then give you an idea of my my final uh, you know product that I have and the theme that went into it. Uh, if you are in your arena workshop, you can change out the color of your headlights, which of course just adds another layer to your customization, which I really do appreciate that. The ground lights with the neon kits, I do think they'd be appropriate for this vehicle. The livery, you have 11 different liveries. They all are really good. I like the liveries. They're designed to be like a, you know, some of them are like a rally style or a Grand Prix style racing design. The white stripe one was just is the same as the red stripe, but you know, my car is white. So, uh, but yeah, that's a, the mosaic splash is really unique and different. It looks really cool. Uh, me personally, though, with my final products, I kept it all one mono color. I think it looked really good that way. And I accented it with 
uh, the interior and the rims, and we'll see that in just a moment. Uh, the rim paint blue looks really cool. I can see that looking really good with a black base color. The orange as well. The abstract, I mean, wild designs like that are just really cool. Look at that, the blue abstract. That just looks sick. I like that. looks really, really good. All right, so those are your different liveries right there. Uh, going to the mirrors, you can have the primary color or a carbon style. And, of course, the primary will keep it primary, and if it, the, the stock will be secondary. So uh, with the respray, that's what the primary paint looks like. And whatever you add that's going to be secondary will naturally be the secondary, either the hood, the mirrors, whatever. Uh, so secondary would be, you know, the mirrors, the skirt, wh whatever you add that's going to be secondary to that. So then, of course, you have the trim color. Now, the secondary color also will change the stitching on the interior of the vehicle. I'm not sure if you saw that. The trim option will change, like, the seat color, the dashboard, things like that. Okay. Then you also have roof features as well. You have six different options. You have stock, secondary, carbon, primary, alternate, secondary, alternate, uh, so forth. All right, so you have that in there as well. With the skirts, you have seven different skirt options, as you see right there. Primary, secondary, you have the extended, you have the race, uh, you have carbon. So really cool features and options to put together right there. Spoiler. Now, as you see, you have the traction's already maxed out. But still, I would recommend putting a uh, spoiler on the vehicle. That way you do ensure that you're going to get some sort of attraction advantage. Uh, you know, once again, we don't know if it truly adds it. But, you know, just going off of the history of these vehicles, the spoiler should add your traction to there. Plus, I think with this car, the, uh, some of the spoilers do look very good uh, and appropriate with it there. Now, the stock spoiler has a spoiler option. I'm just not sure if it actually gives you that feature of the added traction. So just to play it safe, go ahead and put a actual spoiler on there. I don't have access to the PC codes to tell that. I'm sure somebody out there does, so you just look out for that. But when in doubt, spoiler it out. Look at the suspension drop, though. That's some of the most dramatic drop for a suspension upgrade that I've seen on a car. Look how high that is. It looks kind of corny the way it's so high up like that. It looks like it's almost like an off-road vehicle, right? Uh, so definitely slam that sucker out. Get your windows on there. You can tint those out. So, yeah, that's the basic customization. It looks really, really good. This car is clean, even without adding anything to it. It's a good-looking car. Now, I'm going to kind of quickly skip through all this and kind of give you an idea. Uh, as I was modding this car, the one modification feature that I thought kind of set the theme was the hood. Uh, the hood that I chose, which is that one right there, it, remakes, it kind of reminds me of a shark. This car reminded me of a shark with the grill, the vertical grill bars as like the teeth. The hood kind of like the fins the on the doors right there kind of reminds me of like, you know, the gills or whatever, the, the gills and the fins all together. It just gave me like a shark kind of vibe or theme, right? The the apex predator of the ocean. And I wanted to kind of go with like that, the uh, the, metal, uh, the the metal style colors with the brushed steel or the brushed aluminum. And I know that, you know, what's what else is synonymous with your sharks, right? blood so i wanted my accent colors to be a nice red to kind of show that off so i made my interior look at that that just looks so clean already i made it that nice uh dark red color right there and then i go through and i change out the wheels and uh i add the wheels on there and i make them red as well and that was the theme i was going for of course this is sped up you know what i mean so uh i don't want to waste too much of your guys' time but i kind of wanted to take you through my process and kind of give you an idea of what i was going for there i liked the stock rims and i wanted to kind of find that same application for the stock rims and i found that in the sports category for the wheels and i was able to uh you know because I, I thought that looked cool with the split spokes right the five split spoke and i made it that red and it's very close to the interior and this looks so clean it really does i changed the headlights to a nice red i changed the tire smoke to a nice red only thing i forgot to do was add the dang ground lights but i'll do that later but yeah i, I wanted to make the ground lights uh, uh red as well but oh my god that looks so sexy though as you see out here in real time or just regular speed i mean it just looks so clean it looks like a freaking shark in the road man 
that's the kind of uh, theme and style I was going for. I recommend that you know get and uh, you know as you're going through the the options in the vehicle, you know let that theme develop. And it makes the car look so much better. If you're just throwing stuff on there, you know what I mean? That's, I, I mean, I, me personally, do whatever you want to do. It's your vehicle, right? Uh, you spent $1.3 million on it, so it's your vehicle. Uh, but, yeah, it's. I recommend going with some sort of a theme. That way it just kind of carries the vehicle over. You can tell a story with it. Uh, it's a very good car to drive. It's fun. It looks really cool. It looks nice. But, yeah, that's the customization right there. So if you were on the fence... There you go. I have a double money video out as well. I have a, a top speed performance video versing the Pariah with this vehicle also. So definitely check those out. If you want, follow me on Twitter at TylariusYT. Instagram, Tylarius underscore YT, Redbubble and Spreadshirt.com. Search Tylarius. Uh, those are my merchandise websites. Make sure you guys check those out. Got some fire merch on there. If you guys don't got Twitter, get it, man. Over a billion tweets last year were gaming alone so check that out man make sure you subscribe to the channel for the illness of rules content of the game smash, smash that like button stay dangerous peace out yeah